October looks like a great month for stargazers, the cool, crisp nights featuring some astronomical events over the next four weeks. And joining us with more is Dr. Jackie Faraday. She's senior scientist and senior education manager and uh, astrophysicist at New York's American Museum of Natural History. So Jackie, thank you so much for making time for us. I'm happy to be here, Greg. Well, Jackie, uh, this weekend is going to bring the first of two meteor showers in the month of October. So what should we be looking for? Yeah, so meteor showers are fantastic and everybody should be excited to, to go and look at them. There are two, but really there's one that most people are going to be paying closer attention to, and that's the Orionids. And that's mostly, frankly, it's mostly because the Orionids are um, a debris cloud that the Earth is going through, and then it'll peak around October 19th or 20th. So you've got kind of the month of October to play around in the sky and get your bearings and look for some of these, these beautiful streaks of light that you can catch. And we understand that a big blockbuster daytime event, maybe a precursor of something coming later next year, uh, is a mid-October ring of fire solar eclipse. So what makes this event especially unique? What it is, what you're referring to, is what's called an annular eclipse. So in the case of an annular eclipse, which is oftentimes called the ring of fire eclipse, the moon is not close enough to the earth in order to completely block the sun out at the time of totality. So instead it gets close. And when it's covering the full disk of the sun, you're still illuminated, but it looks like a ring of fire around the sun. So just like most people could remember the August 2017 eclipse, where it was mostly partial for many people in the U.S., you get to break those glasses back out, break your eclipse viewing glasses back out, and watch the sun during the day, and you'll watch as the moon is passing in front of it. Depending on where you are in the U.S., it'll be more or less covered, so you should look up based on your location. And you'll need your glasses in order to see it because without that, you end up um, you end up missing the show because it's unsafe to look at the sun, and you've really got to block some of the light out. So get your eclipse viewing glasses back out for the mid October annular eclipse. It's amazing that the moon is just the right size and just the right distance from us that sometimes it fully blocks out the sun and sometimes uh, not quite. Really cool stuff. Dr. Jackie Faraday, Senior Scientist and Senior Education Manager and Astrophysicist at New York's Museum, uh, American Museum of Natural History. Thanks again. You're welcome.